Hello Aries, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general energy reading. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you are new, hello, my name is Eric. It is wonderful to meet you and if you are returning, what is up guys? So Aries, this is a general energy reading for you for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node, there we go. <laughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, okay? This is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading. This is not meant to uh, be for any specific time period in your life, just whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you in that moment, yeah? Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list uh, some of the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all set up. Follow me on Patreon, uh, Twitter, and Instagram. Patreon is a really great way to support the channel and to get some extra content with me throughout the month. Depending on what tier you sign up for, you could even get a discount on your personal reading. All right, so check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. And as always, follow us on, follow me on Twitter uh, and Instagram. Links to all of that can be found in the description box below. All right, Aries, let's get into this. I'm going to give this two more shuffles for you and we will see what messages we have for you at this time for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Last shuffle here for you, Aries. All right. Here we go. What's going on? I was being told to look at the bottom of the deck. Okay. At the bottom of the deck so far, Aries, you do have the Knight of Cups. Okay. Uh, following what your heart is leading you towards. For some of you, that's actually somewhat difficult in the moment. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe it's because of the specific situation that you're dealing with. Your heart is leading you towards a more compassionate and or forgiving space. Um, and maybe I just heard resentment. Maybe you're um, riddled with resentment right now and you don't want to be forgiving or you don't want to be compassionate. Um, you actually want to rage at people or whomever this uh, is that you seem to have some sort of conflict with bad blood with or something like that. Um, but what I'm getting from this Aries is that your heart is not guiding you or leading you towards a compassionate expression in order for you to make nicey nice with these people that, you know, seem to have rubbed you the wrong way or this situation that has rubbed you the wrong way. Your heart is guiding you to be more compassionate, to work towards forgiving so that you can be free of this malice is what I'm hearing. So that you can be free of this venom or this poison because really Aries I mean it's really only poisoning you it's really only hurting you it's really only affecting you okay um so that's why you're being guided to take a little bit more of a compassionate approach for some of you this knight of cups energy is you being guided towards some sort of creative expression and again there is a level of um animosity there maybe resentment there this might be a certain uh, creative form of expression that you were very much into previously in your life. Um, but, you know, circumstances kind of went awry and the situation didn't go as well as you had hoped or wanted. And maybe you have given up or at this point given up on this form of creative expression. And now you're being led back towards it. And you are having, I'm definitely seeing, for those of you that are resonating with this way, I'm definitely seeing you having to like, really work through or get through a bunch of brambles or like some some brush or like some overgrowth uh, because you really have abandoned this part of you or abandoned this form of expression for you and your soul, your heart is guiding you back towards that, okay? But I understand the, re the resentment. I understand the resistance there. I can definitely feel that, especially if this is a form of expression that was really important to you at one point in your life and somehow something went awry and you just decided that it wasn't for you. That's not the case, Aries. All right. It, it's not that it wasn't for you or it's not that it isn't for you. It's just that the timing wasn't correct. 
the people that you were trying to work with weren't correct. The way in which you were trying to get this off the ground wasn't correct for you. Maybe just it wasn't correct at that time or it just wasn't the right way of doing it for yourself, okay? But you're being led, you're being guided to get back into that. All right, Aries, let's see what else we've got for you here. Three cards for my Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What's going on for Aries? What messages do we have for Aries at this time? First card out is the Six of Wands, Aries. I like that. Next, you have Strength. And finally, one last card for Aries, please. One last card for Aries, please. Last card you have here is the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Overall energy, though, is the Knight of Nine of Swords. All right. All right. Okay. The Nine of Swords is resonating as a big old what if. What if things don't go right? What if things are as bad as they were last time? What if I just, what if, what if, what if? Okay. But next, what I want to say to that, Aries, is you don't, okay, I mean, you may have a bunch of what ifs on your plate or in your mind, but you also don't want to get caught up in the shoulda, coulda, woulda. You know what I mean? Like, I should have done this, or if I could have done this, or I would have, then this would have happened. This, I mean, you're being, you're being led to take action in some way, okay? The Six of Wands, even though the Six of Wands is a good... All right, well, here, actually, let me say it this way, because it's more than just breaking it down into these three cards. These three cards are giving me a very much an overall feeling. Um, you have been in an energy, Aries, of kind of holding yourself back, okay? This, that's really coming through with this strength card here, all right? Holding yourself back in a way that um, preserves your ego or really in a way that your ego has been guiding you to do because it preserves your sense of self um and on the surface you've been showing up saying or feeling or acting like things are okay things are all that all fine in a bag of chips like you got it going like that blah 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 six of wands the six of wands is a good card the six of wands is about victory but often or sometimes the six of wands can represent uh saving face or putting on a show for everyone to think that everything is okay Okay, six of pentacles here is an energy of you just kind of doing, well, I am hearing you doing your best, okay, um, but it feels like you're just, you're just doing enough to get by. You're doing enough just to make sure things are balanced, things are reciprocal, but then I kind of feel this energy of you retreating to your solitary space, and this is not like you, Aries. Or at least this is not like the Aries energy I know. But I will say this does kind of feel like a bit of a healing period that you've been in. Or at least you've been trying to heal from a level of sorrow that has been underneath the surface for you that you haven't really been sharing with a lot of people. And that's coming from that Nine of Swords energy. Okay, I want to I wanna look at the Six of Wands. Clarify the Six of Wands for Aries, please. Knight of Pentacles is reversed. Yeah. Okay. Th uh, Page of Wands. Okay. One last card for the Six of Wands, please. Anything else? Yeah. Okay. Oh, two more. All right. The Sun with the... There's the Knight of Cups again, Aries. Overall energy is the Four of Swords. Okay. All right. Um... So, Aries, there is a new direction for you in your life. The Knight of Pentacles is reversed. Um, and to be honest with you, I do like that. Because you're trading the Knight of Pentacles energy for the Knight of Cups. I feel like the Knight of Pentacles energy has been you kind of settling into a certain level of mundane energy or every day. Just going about doing... doing how do I put this into words? Doing the right thing, I guess. Yes, okay. But like 
doing what was necessary to keep your life afloat for you to get by, um, focusing very much on the physical, focusing very much on the 3D. So that's like going to work every day or doing things that make, if you're like, if you're like a freelancer or you're an independent contractor or you're in business for yourself, doing the things that you need to do in order to make money, doing the things that you need to do in order to keep yourself healthy to a certain extent, even though your mind and your emotions were riddled with a bunch of stuff, you weren't really focused on, on that stuff. You were really focused more on the physicality of your life, going to work, keeping the roof over your head, paying the bills, uh, handling or, or, or taking care of your children if you have children, taking care of your family, taking care of, of, of physical responsibilities. That's the energy that I'm getting from the Knight of Pentacles. And that's where you were keeping up the status quo or you were keeping up appearance just to save face. But there is an energy breaking through here of with this Six of Wands of you coming out of that because you have that with the Page of Wands now, which is a change in identity, which is a change in message, a change in alignment, a change in creative expression, a new direction to move in. You have the Sun with the Knight of Cups with all of that. So again, I feel like you're trading this Knight of Pentacles energy for a Knight of Cups energy, something that's less mundane, less just status quo, just getting through the day, doing what is necessary to get done, and more following your heart, more creative expression. There is that creative expression again. But Aries, some of you are resisting this very much so. You do have the Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You're needing to take some time to settle your ego down. Meditation would be really super helpful for you at this time because you need to be able to calm the ego, which is what is keeping you in this energy of doing what is absolutely necessary for you and nothing like nothing more, nothing less, right? And instead going forward with what your heart's desire is or what this new, what this creative expression is for you. All right, uh, speaking of the ego then, I wanna talk about strength for you here, Aries. What's strength for Aries, please? Clarify strength for Aries. The high priestess in reverse, not not listening to your intuition, not trusting yourself, not trusting your higher self, not trusting the powers that be. I also kind of feel like this has been you kind of kind of getting off your path a little bit. With strength. Yep. Oh my God. And just as I say that, the chariot comes out in reverse. Wow. So Aries, and then we're back to the Nine of Swords. You guys, you can't make this stuff up, okay? Um, you traded, you traded your higher self. You traded the the universe's guidance for the status quo. You 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 stepped off your path somehow. And I can't, and I'm not going to say, Aries, that you're completely off your path. That's not the case here because you're never really completely off your path. But there is something about your path that you have been rejecting. Not listening to your intuition about, um, maybe even if you've been experiencing signs or synchronicities um, or like things have just been popping up in your life to make you, to get you to remember or think about what it is you used to do in the past or what it is that really serves your soul, what it is that really speaks to your soul or how your soul really vibrates or resonates. Even if there have been things showing up in your life that have been synchronistic in that way or have been getting you to remind you getting yeah have been reminding you of this whatnot whatever you've still been resisting it and it's been all because of this nine of swords energy. I want to see, but look at this. Underneath the Nine of Swords is judgment. I want to talk more about this Nine of Swords for you, though, Energy. Clarify this Nine of Swords for Aries, please. Again, this is not like you, Aries, to be so afraid like this. But there you go. It's the moon in reverse. The Nine of Swords is clarified by the moon in reverse, Aries. So there is an illusion here that you are wrapped up in that is literally nothing but an illusion. And especially if we're talking about some form of creative expression, whether you are a singer, a dancer, um, uh, a music producer, a, a, a writer, um, a storyteller, uh, an, a, a chef, a visual artist, whatever, whatever this creative form of expression is for you, 
even if it didn't go well or well enough in the beginning, that number one doesn't mean that you're not talented. And number two doesn't mean that the, that path or that, that form of expression isn't right for you. It may just be that it wasn't the right time. Can we get some more on this moon in reverse and nine of swords here? Anything else you want to say for Aries in terms of this? Oh, okay. One more card here. The Eight of Swords in reverse. And then you're back to the Four of Swords, Aries. Okay? It's time to break yourself free from this. You have been un needlessly holding yourself in some sort of prison. And even as I'm speaking through this, Aries, the next thing that I want to say for you is just pick up that guitar again. Or pick up that paintbrush. Or... Um, do some, do some, da uh, do some dance again. Like you don't even have to go to a dance class, put on some music and just start dancing. I don't know, like do your, do the warm ups that you used to do in those dance classes or, or start cooking again or start inventing again. I don't know what this is for you, Aries, but the, I want you, I really, the message here for you is to follow your heart and get creative again. You have been needlessly holding yourself in this prison because of fears that are literally just an illusion. Literally an illusion, Aries. Okay? The Nine of Swords is here, but the moon is reversed. It's not... I, I honestly don't even think whatever... Maybe something specific that happened, Aries, but I don't even think it's that, as bad as you thought it was. I think it was more that your ego got hurt, your ego got bruised, and you ran. And you decided that you weren't going to allow yourself to go through that anymore or put yourself out there in that way any longer just to get hurt like this again. Look, Aries, I totally get it. I'm an artist too. And to be quite honest with you, to, to like full disclosure, this is resonating with, okay, this is resonating with me too. And I'm going to be... I, for the sake of vulnerability, Aries, I'm going to be vulnerable enough and I'm going to tell you exactly how this is resonating with me. And it's and it's kind of crazy, but I had a dream last night. Now, I am um I used to be a dancer. I used to be a singer. I I used to be a theater kid. I had a dream at one point in my life of being a recording artist. Um, and I started as a dancer thinking that I would work my way up the dance world and get into being a recording artist. But by the time I got into the scene, that wasn't really a thing any longer. So eventually I left the dance world and I invested in some equipment and I taught myself how to produce music. And I wrote a whole album, like a 12 song album. And then I wrote like a five song EP. Um, and then things just went crazy in my life. And I ended up letting go of that form of expression. And that was like, that was, shit, that was like four years ago now. I haven't really written any music since. And music has always been one of the, like just thinking about music and my love for music gives me the chills. Like I'm one of those people where if I hear the right song, I get goosebumps. You know what I mean? Like I, I have a visceral experience. Music has always been a major part of my life. Um, and I gave up on it because of life circumstances, you know, I mean, like, whatever. Okay. But last night I had a dream that I had spent a bunch of money on a piano, like a, like a baby grand piano, we'll say. And I was saying to, like, I remember in the dream thinking, oh my God, I just, I put all, I put this whole piano on my credit. How the hell am I going to pay for this? Blah, blah, blah. But in the dream, the piano was broken and needed to be repaired. And I and and there was a ton of other dreams that things that were happening in that dream last night. But um I remember waking up at one and, and and you know going about my morning and just doing my meditations and blah 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 and remembering that I had that dream and I was like, "Oh wow. I guess that's a sign from the universe or my higher self that I should get back into music, huh?" And here we are, Aries. <laughs> Okay, and, and yes, it's daunting. Yes, I mean, I have tried to sit at my system and write music. I've tried, but it's just like the, the stigma that I have, the egoic blockages that I have now because of it, because it's been so long, it's going to take, it's going to be, 
It's going to take some work to break through all of that, but it's possible. And I feel myself, I, I caught the message in that dream loud and clear. So I guess I should just follow through with it. We can follow through with it together, Aries. How about that? Okay, fine. Last thing that I want to clarify for you here is the Six of Pentacles. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Aries, please, Spirit. Justice. If you're wondering if things are going to work out in your favor, if you're wondering if things are going to be reciprocal, justice is your answer. Anything else you want to say about the Six of Pentacles for Aries? The Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Cups. Oh my God. See, and then you have judgment at the bottom of the deck. All right, Aries, but look, look, I want you to, point, I want you to pay attention to the fact that Yes, the Four of Cups has come out here, but the Four of Cups initially came out and fell out on the on the Knight of Cups. You are actively rejecting what your heart is calling you towards. You are literally keeping yourself on this karmic hamster wheel. Of not receiving truly what it is that you want. So the message here in terms of clarifying the Six of Pentacles for you, Aries, is you are going to get that which you put out into the world. So if you continue to hold yourself in this level of doubt and you stay on that karmic hamster wheel of doubt and you just continue to keep following through with this knight of pentacles energy of just, you know what, I'm just going to follow, I'm gonna, just going to keep up with the mundane and I'm just going to do whatever it is I need to do to survive, then that's what you're going to receive in kind from the universe. Okay, the universe is only ever going to match you in giving you back what you put out. I'm lit I literally just heard for somebody out there, the timing just wasn't right. It doesn't mean that you're not right for this form of expression. It's just that the timing wasn't right. Now you can get back into it with more victory, with more, honestly, you've experienced more. You're older now, right? You've gone through a lot more. You probably have a lot more to express at this point, a lot more to write about, a lot more, a lot of more emotion to put behind this form of creative expression. You have more experience now that you can draw from. But the more you what but the more you put this same old, same old out into the universe, then the more this of the same old, same old you are going to receive back. So if you want something to change, Aries, then you have got to change what you put out, okay? Okay. Closing Oracle Guidance is coming from the, from Old Faithful here. The Crystal Mandala Oracle, yeah? Okay. All right. Closing messages, please. Okay. Closing message for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. I mean, Aries, you're a pioneering energy anyway. That's why I'm saying this doesn't feel, this doesn't feel like you. This feels very out of character for you. You have probably gone through some sort of really traumatizing energy, and I get it, but this is so wildly out of character for you, Aries. Okay. Closing message for Aries, please, Spirit. Card number 43, Goddess Matanji, Mata, Mata, yes, Matanji, and Crimson, or I'm sorry, and Heliotrope, Heliotrope, already there is value, already there is value, <laughs> all right, let's read this. Already there is value. We bring you the empowerment to see that already there is value. It is natural for creative energy to become excited by new possibilities, new ideas, and new forms. It is also possible, however, for creative energy to become engaged in liberating the undiscovered value within that which already exists, polishing it until it shines with divine light. Sometimes there is a need to shed the past and all associated with it completely, starting afresh. 
However, at other times, there is something of value from the past that can, if allowed to bask in the light of your creativity, become very valuable for your future. In your enthusiasm to move forward in life, don't forget to take the value that already exists in your world along with you. Mm -hmm. So, there you have it, Aries. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm sending you all so much love and healing energy, yes, and a uh, boost in confidence to get out of this egoic fear and start expressing yourself again, yeah? If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you set up there. Uh, make sure to check us out on Patreon if you're interested in supporting the channel a little bit more and getting some extra content with me throughout the month, possibly even receiving discounts on your personal readings, depending on which tier you sign up for. Of course, for as little as $3 a month, you could be a member over on Patreon and you get everything that gets posted there, all right? So check us out. That's a great way to support the channel. Thank you to all my patrons that are already a part of the Unicorn Herd. Without you, I would not be able to be here. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'm sending you love, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.